In our final video, we're going to put together all of our formulas to describe, again, how and where we should put frets if we were to slot a fretboard from scratch. Uh, why would you want to do this? Well, let's say you're designing a, a, a guitar. You want to know uh, exactly where your frets should go in order to produce the particular scale length that you're interested in. So from physics, we knew a few, uh, we knew a couple of things uh, that the frequency of a vibrating string is, is inversely proportional to its length. So if you increase the length of the string, you're going to decrease the frequency. If you decrease the length of a string, you're going to increase the frequency. We used the important theorem uh, or formula derived for uh, how the West, this is again, Western chromatic assumption that each frequency, the, the frequency of each a successive note should be proportional to or, or have a common ratio to the uh, note just that came just before it. And then our formula from physics that we have uh, that we're using here. So let's put this all together one more time. So we have our scale length, which we're calling L sub zero, i.e. the length of the string when it's uh, in the zeroth fret when you're not fretting it at all. And let's just suppose that we're interested in knowing where to place the 12th fret. Okay, so in order to do that, we know that uh, from the bridge, the distance from here to the uh, to the kth fret, whichever fret we want that to be, would be one over r to the k times the length of the scale. Okay, well r we approximated to be about 1.0595, uh, i.e. the twelfth root of two raised to the kth power times l naught. So all I've done here is just replaced r with that number. And if you divide one by 1.0595, you notice that that will come out to about 0.94384. So what we're in effect doing is that uh, every time we go over one fret, we're decreasing the length of that string by uh, one minus that, which is about 5.6, 5 5.62% approximately. Now that's very much related to the, the factor 1.0595. It's not exactly 5.95 percent is a little bit less, uh, but we're decreasing the length every time we want to increase the frequency. Okay, so from the nut, I really don't, I, I'm, I don't, when I'm fretting a, a, a fretboard or slotting a fretboard, excuse me, I don't have the whole guitar put together yet. So, and for one, that would be very dangerous to try to measure from here to over here for a lot of different reasons. So before I even have any of the strings on, before I have any of this stuff set up, I'm going, I, I, all I know is that where my nut is going to go. So I've just have this fretboard blank and I need to put slots into it. I need to know where those slots should go. So I build myself a rectangular template and, um, now I need to figure out, well, I, I know that L12 will tell me how far from the bridge to the 12th fret, and I know L0, the, the length of the, the distance from the, the bridge to the nut, well, what is this distance here? What is this distance right here, the distance from here to here? Well, if this long distance is L0 and this short distance is L12, then this must be L0 minus L12. That's the, the difference between the full length and the length that I already know. So if I want to know the distance from the nut, what I have to do is take the distance from the bridge and subtract it from L0. So from the nut, I would want to measure L0 minus L0 times 0.94384 to the k power. And that would tell me where I should position the fret from the nut. So let's do an example. Suppose you have a 26 inch scale length that you're, you're building this guitar. You want it to be a 26 inch scale length. Where should we put the 12th fret, for example, among all the other frets that are going to be on the guitar? Well, we know that the, the, the distance from the nut to the 12th fret should be L naught minus L naught times 0.94384. Now L naught is just the scale length, so it's 26 inches. And so I need to compute this now. So that's uh, 20, 26 times 0.94384 to the 12th power is going to be about 13, pretty close, about 12.99, just because we rounded this uh, 1 divided by 1.05, 1, 1 divided by the, the 12th root of 2. And that comes out to about 13. Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, but let's do a conclusion first. The 12th fret should be 13 inches from the nut. At the same rate, because the scale length is 26 inches, that also means that uh, the 12th fret will be 13 inches from the bridge. So to put this in an interesting context, to double the frequency, i.e., because remember the 12th fret represents the, uh, the doubling of the frequency, we must cut the scale length in half. 
that's a really interesting concept. Now I could repeat this for any fret, uh, knowing what fret number I want, knowing what my scale length is, will tell me exactly where that fret should be positioned. And that, folks, is how the mathematics of the fretboard works. And this formula is used all the time. Uh, most luthiers, i.e. guitar builders, don't necessarily use this formula directly. They go to uh, Stuart McDonald or stumac.com, uh, and they uh, use the fret calculator on there, or they find another reliable fret calculator, although just you know, be careful if you're using fret calculators. Um, and, and they let that fret calculator generate all of these, uh, these fret positions for that particular guitar build. So that, that's it. Feel free to leave comments, ask questions about this. I'm happy to help in any way that I can, but this is the, the, the basic, basic idea behind how the fretboard is done.